All right, we'll do one more example of this right here. Uh, we have x plus 3 over uh, x squared plus x minus 2, and then plus 2 over x squared minus 1. So again, what we're trying to do is we're going to try to find our common denominator. Again, uh, some advice, make sure you factor first, especially the denominators. One or two things could occur. We may be able to cancel something in the numerator of the denominator and give us smaller numbers and make things a little bit easier, or uh, we may be able to, it'll help us find what parts they might have in common. So this is factorable. So what we'll do is we'll get uh, x plus 2 and x minus 1. Uh, this is also factorable, so x plus 1 times x minus 1. All right, so now our job is to find our common denominator. So we'll play the game old or new. What we do is we look at this right here, uh, x plus 2, and we're going to say that is new. X minus 1, obviously, uh, is new also, because we haven't got any into that before. X plus 1 is also new. Even though they're close, they're not the same, so we have to include it. And then X minus 1 is old, so we don't put it again. So that's going to be our common denominator. Now what we have to do is come over and get our common denominator. So I'm going to come over this fraction. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by what I'm missing, which in this case is X plus 1. So this is going to be x squared plus 4x plus 3. Again, just distributed property. I combine like terms in my head. If you need to work it out, you can do it. And then here, what I'm missing is going to be the, uh, what am I missing? I'm missing x plus 2. So I need to multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 2. Again, get a good habit of distributing that sign along with your coefficient. So we will get 2x and then plus 4. It doesn't make a difference when it's positive, but if you do it every time, you'll remember, uh, because it's not the positive ones that are going to hurt us, it's the negative ones. So if you get in that habit, it'll help you out. Uh, again, we're going to combine like terms, so we'll get x squared and then plus 6x plus 7 over x plus 2, x minus 1. And x plus 1. Again, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to factor this and see if any of the common factors. Uh, factors of 7 uh, that will add to give us 6, uh, there aren't any. So, uh, if, again, if this were minus 7, then it would work. But we're looking for two factors of positive 7. Since it's positive, we're looking for the sum. The only two factors that will multiply to give us 7 are 1 and 7, and their sum's 8. So that's unfactorable, so that's the end of our problem.